Hey nerdy girls, I'm Analytical and let's code. For our first project, we're going to build a drag queen website and we will make it glamorous. Why don't you come and join me on my computer over here? To get started, you're going to need a text editor. I recommend Sublime and I've already downloaded it, but I'll put a link in the description below. So let's go ahead and open it. What's great about a text editor is all the auto-completion. With programming, you're jumping into a whole new language, and the more you can let the computer do the work for you, the better. Even as a pro, I try to use as much auto-complete as possible. In order to take advantage of all of that auto-completion functionality, we need to tell Sublime that our the file is going to be a website file. Website files are going to end in .html, typically. We can call ours website.html, but this is a drag website, so maybe more like sickening website.html. Let's just save this on my desktop. Now this knows it's an HTML file. So what does HTML actually look like? HTML consists of lots of opening tags and closing tags, and then some fun stuff in between. Opening and closing tags both start and end with angle braces, and then we'll put a word in there. So we'll just write tag for now, and then a closing tag is the same except we start with a slash and our editor actually completed that. Now to see the most basic HTML file, we're gonna delete this and we're gonna start with an angle bracket, type HTML, press enter to allow the autocomplete to work and we've generated our first website. I'm gonna go ahead and save this and now we can open this in our browser. I'll just open it in Chrome. And, well, nothing appeared, but we have to tell stuff to appear. So there are two sections on this page that you'll need to worry about right now. We've got the head section, and the body section. If we put some text in the body section, perhaps a quote by the great Trinity the Tuck. Save this again and refresh our page. And now we are getting somewhere. Let's say we put something in the title tag, in the head section. So nothing changed in the main area of the website, but if you'll notice up here, the tab of our website has a new title. As a general rule of thumb, stuff in the head section is going to affect the external part of the website. Whereas in the body, this will be the content that's going to show up in the main area. Now let's delete this all and just restart with our plain HTML site and let's turn this into a drag site. I'll give it my name as the title. In the body, I'll also include my name so people can see it in the website and not just in the tab. And I'll include some text about myself. So save this and refresh. This is not looking so hot. We've got all this text in one line. It's all the same size. There are no colors. This is not glamorous. The first thing we can do is make my name bigger because this website's about me. There's a set of tags for headers. So there's headers for sizes one through five. And let's make mine number one. We're going to do an opening angle brace, type H1 for header one, and then we'll do a closing angle brace. And on the other side of analytical, we will do the opening angle brace again, and then a slash. And Sublime will type out the rest of it for us, which is the same as the opening tag. You can save this and see what this looks like. Bam, much bigger and much better. Here's a quick demo of what another header looks like. Much smaller, not as good, let's undo it. Now that we have some basic content on here, we should start making this more glamorous. In the head section, we're going to create a new tag called style, style, and we'll also close this. To create any style, we will type the name of the tag. So here we're just gonna use body so we can get everything, but you could type something like H1 or H5 like we saw earlier. So this will style everything in the body. We're gonna use opening and closing curly braces. On here we can set all kinds of styling. So Let's just set the background color purple. You can't really see the text that well on here, so let's change that to white. And to do that, we'll set color to white. Save this and we are getting somewhere. I'm sure you're not satisfied with just this. Let's make this really gorgeous. I'm gonna go to cssgradient.io. I will put the link in the description and let's generate a gorgeous gradient to use as our background color. I've already been working on mine and clearly I really love purple. But if you want to change this, you can just drag around the different colors. Ooh, I like this new pink I just added. And then you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you'll see a section that looks pretty similar to our style section. Let's click copy to clipboard 
and we'll just paste that in. And we can get rid of the background color because we're going to use this background tag instead. And let's see what we get. Wow. This is looking really gorgeous. Over the next few videos, we're going to keep adding to this website, really glam it out, really make it our own. And I want you to do the same. Send me an email at theanalytical at gmail.com. Attach your website by dragging in the .html file. I'd love to see what you're working on and help you out if you have any questions. Don't hesitate to reach out. All the links and my HTML file will be in the description below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.